I mean, she was everything to everyone who met her. Um, she was a teacher for for 30 years and she affected so many kids' lives that um, would graduate from elementary school and come back to elementary school just to check on um, Mrs. Rowe. Um, so she just impacts kind of everyone in a, in a light, kind, um, gentle, gentle way. She was the best grandmother. Um, the, the grandkids are, are hurting without her. Um, that's been really hard, but um, she was just She's an unbelievable person. Just a, just a kind, gentle, motherly soul who, who just made other people's day better. I mean, she watched every game. Um, and then when I was in Europe, she'd come over, she'd stay for weeks at a time. Um, and my wife, you know, basically was partially raised by my mom just with how long we've been together. So from watching it or listening to it, she never critiqued me, like I said, always played the best game on the ice. I was the best player every night, according to my mom. So it was always nice to be able to come back and, and have my dad say, ah, you know, I thought you could have had this or that. My mom said, you played great, you know? So one of those, and then, you know, if you're in college, she'd, she'd sneak a $20 bill into my, my back pocket without me knowing just to take care of me while I was away. Uh, so my mom has had for years um, a cough and doctors couldn't figure out what it was and um, she said it for years. That was part of her, it's part of her, just the cough shit accompanied my mom. But, you know, she went and got tests done, never, never anything. And then, um, you know, her, something else started to hurt and I knew something was bad, but I, she was always very private. And so I never knew what it was. You know, they called me and said, I gotta talk to you. She said, I want, I, want your, I want Brittany to be around my wife. And I said, um, so I called her right away because I couldn't wait. I knew something was wrong. And so they, they told me the diagnosis. Um, she, had, she had neuroendocrine, which is a rare form of, of, of cancer, and she was stage four. So, but you're going to start to notice that she was going through treatments. And so, um, and so when that started to happen and you just saw the, the transformation really, really quickly, and that was really hard. I was starting to be worried that I wouldn't make it home. But um, we got to spend the summer, most of the summer with her, part of the summer. Um, and my wife allowed me to, I went there every day, spent hours and hours and just wanted to soak it all in. Cancer sweeps the whole family. That's the difference. It doesn't sweep one person, it sweeps the whole family. And especially with her and her position in our family and how much people cared for her. It was like a lightning bolt struck in the middle of her house. So, um, it's been tough. It's been tough learning about it, um, going through it. And, uh, and now in our case, unfortunately, trying to move on in life through that. My, my mom's birthday is June 5th, 6 5, and so never won the number before, but I wanted to pay homage to her in some way, some facet um, through that. Uh, so that's a really meaningful number for me. Um, so I'm extra prideful when I put that on. I just finding the simplicity in life, making that uh, the beautiful moments of life, whether it be um, <clears throat> how the how the, how the clouds in the sky will be forming one day um, and how um, the colors of the trees in the fall she would have been you know, absolutely enthralled with. Um, I, I made the, I put the kids on the counter the other day, which my wife can't stand, but I did it because my mom would always make pancakes in the morning and put the kids on the counter and they would love it and they'd have, they'd have uh, flour over everything and syrup on the counter and and so just little things like that. So yesterday I made, I made pancakes with my kids on the counter. Very simple. She loved grandkids. She loved teaching. She loved the students. And she loved their family. And those are, that was her life. And maybe, maybe a beautiful garden and a house. Other than that, that's what she, that's what she did for, for her love of life.